everyone. I'm Mohan. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of HP Esmeral Software Business Unit. Uh, and I'm here today to talk about how data and analytics uh, is basically transforming uh, the way we interact in a hybrid uh, multi-cloud world. With me today is the CEO of one of our uh, partner companies, Big ID. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Dimitri. Thank you, Mohan. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, hello, my name is Dimitri Sroda. I'm the CEO of Big ID. Um, we're a seven-year-old company focused on uh, providing operational control and governance uh, around data in a hybridized, regulated uh, world. So to kick off the conversation, what I'd like to begin with is, you know, at HPE, we've been on a journey, right? And as we think through what is the value we can provide to our customers, uh, we realize that, you know, many of our customers are adopting hybrid cloud or multi-cloud as their preferred de deployment and operationalization paradigm in the future. However, building and developing to hybrid cloud, multi-cloud is actually very, very difficult, right? So from an HP Esmeral software point of view, our focus is becoming more and more around how do we provide the key software foundations that help our customers develop and deploy applications uh, to manage data as well as build out workloads in the data engineering, data science, AI, ML, BI reporting type of use cases, right? In their production grade environments for a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud future world, right? So Dimitri, to begin with, what I'd love to get a sense of is like, you know, what does hybrid cloud mean to you and what are you hearing from customers when you talk to them about like, you know, the kinds of requirements they have? Yeah, sure. So we historically have dealt largely with, with large organizations that have um, mixed environments for a variety of reasons. Data center, smaller edge edge um, uh, clouds, um, uh, various public clouds, even, even SaaS applications. And the reality is that very few companies are ever returning to a stage, a place where they have everything in one place where we go back to this kind of world where everything was in one mainframe, one file share, one um, uh, SQL server. The reality is that everything's gonna be distributed and decentralized and it's gonna reside and live in very in variety of places. And so I think it obviously becomes critical to how do you make the right data available to the right, the right individuals, the right applications um, through kind of a, a fabric uh, a conversation. But as part of that, you also need the various controls that you could layer over that. So I think from our customer's perspective, the reality is that there are larger institutions. Um, they will never be purely on just one cloud. Um, they're going to be mixed, right? They're going to have instances where they have uh, edge environments, um, whether it's, you know, local data centers or kind of uh, implementations of uh, cloud uh, near to them under their control. They're going to have multiple clouds in terms of the big public infrastructures. Um, they're going to have uh, potentially SaaS applications. And again, they're interested in how to get the right data to the right the right purpose at the right time or the right team at the right time and and this is i think something that they talk to you about and obviously where we come in is providing some of the additional governance and controls on top of that no absolutely you know i think you're hitting on something very important here right which is even in my customer conversations there are two or three key themes that come up over and over again right one of them is i think hybrid and multi-cloud is the future because none of our customers want to be locked into any given cloud provider, but more importantly, they care about predictability, right? Think about predictability, think about governance, think about sovereignty. These are issues that are becoming more and more important, especially in large enterprise, uh, given the macroeconomic, geopolitical kind of environments out there and stuff, right? So it's almost as if we're going back to a renaissance where I think a decade ago, cloud showed us that, you know, you can really simplify IT, but now cloud is starting to get so complicated where we're at a point where uh, on-prem is not looking as, like, you know, on-prem mature systems are not looking as, like, you know, as, as daunting as they used to. More importantly, however, I think there's a lot of, like, awareness in our customer base around different types of data and different requirements on top of data here, right? And this is where I think, like, you know, vendors like Big ID, in some sense, like, you know, have a distinctive value proposition in providing the ability to simplify governance, for example, and such, right? So, so would love to hear from you, what are some of the big challenges or what are some of the top concerns customers have uh, when it comes to data and governance and sovereignty? Yeah, so look, I think you, you touched on some of them, right? So sovereignty is clearly a bigger and bigger issue. There are countries in the world that disallow uh, data to leave their, their nation border states. So you need to be able to both identify the 
um, the subject to whom the data belongs. Um, you know, are they a resident of, of um, China or Germany or, or one of these countries? Uh, you need to be able to detect and inform about uh, data that may be crossing uh, a border. Um, there are other uh, regulations increasingly, um, a little bit like real estate where everything is local. Um, there are regulations like in privacy, as an example, that could operate at a state level, operate at a national level, operate at a supra uh, national level, like across the EU. Um, and those have impact to organizations, like how do they comply, report on data that's constantly changing and evolving and moving. Um, there are obviously regulations beyond just privacy and individuals, whether it's export control regulations like ITAR, whether it's uh, PCI or HIPAA around healthcare, or whether it's around GLBA for Graham Leachy or countless others. There's no shortage of existing and then new regulations that are getting added around breach response, around NIST, et cetera. And I think that creates a degree of complexity, right? It creates, especially for larger institutions that have diversity in terms of employee base uh, by, by location, they operate in multiple jurisdictions uh, from a business standpoint, um, and they need to be able to control and manage and govern that data uh, in this kind of global environment that still has kind of hyper local regulations and requirements and that creates uh, challenges. It creates requirements around hybrid cloud as, a, as an example and around the necessity for multi-cloud because in some places people just don't op operate. But yeah, I think data is becoming much more complex by again the kind of uh, mixing of platforms where data could kind of reside and then secondly the kind of explosion of regulations uh, whether they're sovereignty or privacy or other um, that uh, they're needing to contend with. I, I think that's, again, a very interesting theme here, right, where what I just realized as you were speaking was, you know, hybrid cloud is actually very, very attractive for highly regulated industries. Do you see any industry-specific trends? Yeah, look, automotive, right, I think because they operate in so many uh, different uh, jurisdictions, uh, life sciences and healthcare, because they have um, not only research, but... Um, um, uh, sensitive data, uh, research data, and, and healthcare data uh, that belongs to citizens of different countries and different states. Um, financial services, obviously, always highly regulated, where you have not only internal audits that you could fail, but uh, like in the U.S., multiple, multiple like the Treasury, the SEC, the OCC um, uh, agencies that regulate them. Um, but there are others, right? Um, anybody that uh, deals with a lot of consumer data, so retail. Um, because they have to contend with various privacy regulations. And again, it's, it's even in the U.S., there's no single privacy regulation. There's California, there's Virginia, there's uh, Colorado. Um, and that's just the U.S. And then, of course, there's other countries like Canada has a new privacy regulation, um, uh, Singapore, et cetera. So, yeah, I think, I think almost every industry, like you look at communications, media, and technology, especially the technology piece, you know, that, that garners uh, attention almost on a daily basis, right? They're in the news. People are concerned about privacy. At the end of the day, when people, whether it's the regulators or whether it's from a, the bad, bad actors that want to be able to exfiltrate and take the data uh, or di take information, they want to get the data, right? The crown jewels of the company. That is what a digital enterprise is about. And so, again, in this kind of hyper-globalized, hybridized cloud environment where you now have this patchwork quilt of... Um, uh, of regulations, not only is there a challenge of getting the right data, you know, getting the data in this kind of decentralized uh, way to the right place, whether it's from a kind of a, a data data store to kind of a data reporting platform or an AI platform, but secondly, the controls around that uh, also becomes more challenging. No, absolutely, right? I think you're right. I mean, regulations is like a moving target, right? As we get more and more aware of the data we are collecting, as like you know, the the users are becoming more sophisticated in terms of use cases with data, uh, and the type of insights they're generating, it is becoming more and more important for us to provide guardrails around meaningful and ethical use of data of sorts here, right? And this is where I think again, you know, if you look at topics like data governance, sovereignty, like access controls, etc., these are all topics that I think are having a renaissance right now, right? And I think it's going to become really important to simplify how some of these capabilities can be front and center. For the application developer absolutely i fully align and which is why i think we're partnering and so excited about our partnership with you guys uh with that i'd love to wrap this session thanks for your time dimitri my pleasure thank, thank you for having me on thanks mohan